In college, it's important to have good grades, obviously, as well as a well-rounded social life, and of course, staying healthy. So in order to do this, I have a few pieces of advice that I picked up over the years of college that have helped me out a ton, and hopefully they help you out as well. So first, you're gonna be taking hard classes. One specific time that I can remember was two semesters ago, I started a class called STAT 415, which was mathematical statistics. And after the first class, the very first one, I felt like it was going to be one of the more difficult classes that I've ever taken. And that definitely turned out to be the case. However, after this very first class, when I was leaving and walking out, I, there were two guys that were talking about meeting up and studying. Um, they seemed friendly enough, so I just walked up to him. I just walked up to him and I said, hey guys, I think this class is gonna be really hard. Um, you guys wanna like exchange phone numbers and meet up and study sometimes. And they're like, yeah, sure, let's, let's do it. So that's how I met him. I just walked up, said, hey, this class is gonna be hard, I'm gonna study. And it worked. Um, it's not like I pulled any tricks on them. I genuinely wanted to study with them and I became friends with both of them. But this is something I've done every single time I've had a hard class. And the benefits of this extend well past just getting good grades. Obviously you have the ability to study together, you have the ability to do homework together. And that's huge, of course. But not only this, but you also have the ability to de-stress after a hard exam with them. You guys can hang out, go get a pizza afterwards or whatever. Um, also, you have potentially a, a lifelong friend, which is also super important. It's, it goes beyond just schoolwork. Um, and then also, if you meet somebody who ends up doing great things and you guys continue to talk down the line, that can open up connections for you as well. So I think, first of all, that is one of the most important pieces of advice I have is just like not even just networking, just talk to people in school. Um, it's going to help you out with your classes. It might help you out in the future and potentially you have a friend. So that's awesome. All right, now second, we're gonna get into social life. Now, just because you're taking hard classes and just because you're trying to get great grades, doesn't mean you should sacrifice your social life because it's something that has kept me sane throughout college. Now, last year with COVID, it was, it was difficult. I mean, I was stuck in my apartment. I was just focused on school. Any of the free time I had, I was just playing video games or just watching YouTube. And I don't think that was a very productive use of my time. Not only that, but I kind of went crazy. It was just ridiculous how much time I spent in my room at my apartment. Uh, but this year, it's been a little bit different. I went to a few parties with just a few friends, and you know that helps to de-stress on the weekends, something like that. It doesn't even have to be a party. It can be just hanging out with a friend, uh, playing some Smash. That's another thing we do. And it just helps de-stress from a long week of school or even during the week, just meeting up for a few hours and just hanging out. Um, you don't have to think about school. You just, you know, have fun. Um, I feel like college students sometimes stress so much getting good grades that they just completely forget this aspect of life. So this can mean different things for different people. For me, um, also playing basketball and working out was definitely something that kind of helped me de-stress, just having a social life, going out with a friend, playing basketball. Um, but for me, this is super important because it was something fun to do. And I had something fun to look forward to after I was done working. So it would help me with my schoolwork because I had that thing to look forward to. I'd be like, okay, all I have to do is get done with my homework, and then I can go play basketball, or I can go over to my friend's house and play Smash. And most importantly, it kept me sane so hopefully that helps you keep you sane in your college major as well. But so far, if you found these tips valuable, just go ahead and leave a like. It makes me feel really good. And it lets me know you guys like videos like this. And now finally, um, the last thing is health. So just because you're in college, I, I see a lot of college students fall into this trap. It's just buying cheap food or fast food all the time. Um, just because simplicity and it's cheap. Um, yes, that's good once in a while, but I feel like many people fall into the trap where they're eating this kind of stuff all the time. And well, I don't think that's, you know, a terrible thing. It's fine. But for me, it made me kind of feel bad when I would do this. There was times um, where I would just get takeout every day or I would eat crappy pre-processed food that I just throw in the microwave. And for me, I just found that it's not worth it because with that extra time that I save with getting fast food or just microwaving something, um, really I, I eat it and then I feel like crap and I don't do any work anyways. Like, okay, yeah, I need a snack before I do my homework. Okay, um, well, maybe have some grapes or some nuts. Like, have something that's not going to make you feel like crap. Because anytime I would, I wouldn't work. I would just lay down on the couch. I'd scroll on my phone. I'd play video games. I wouldn't want to work because I felt like, oh, you know, I just ate. I, I'll do it later. But that's not really how you should feel after you eat. You should feel energized and you should feel ready to do something like that. And it doesn't have to be just food. I mean, this can be being active as well. I said in my last tip that playing basketball really helped me de-stress and 
not only that, it made me feel healthy. It made me feel good and I'd go home and I would take my shower and then I'd get some work done. There's, there's a certain power to feeling good um, after a workout or after eating something good. Um, so just keep that in mind. Don't let your health fall back just because you're in college. It's not worth it. But now for the people who have made it all the way to the end, congrats. I do have a bonus tip for you. As a statistics major, I've had a few regrets and a few things that I wish I could have done differently. So in this video, I go over exactly what those were, how I overcame them, and what I would do differently if I were starting over as a stats major.